Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to composite a meteor strike and explosion easily in After Effects. Let's get started. First hit track camera and wait for it to finish analyzing your shot. Once that's done, zoom in a bit and select a few track points in the background. Then right click and choose create null and camera. Now that we have a track camera, we can drag and drop our meteor VFX into the scene. To download the same VFX I'm using, check this video's description, I'll leave all the download links there. And if you have any issues downloading free assets from Production Crate, make sure to watch my tutorial on how to register and download free assets. That link will also be in the description. Enable 3D on the meteor layer, then select the track null layer and press P on your keyboard to reveal its position. Copy that position, select the meteor layer again, and paste it so the meteor is placed exactly where the tracking data is. Now adjust the scale, position, and rotation until the meteor sits correctly in your scene. I'll also adjust the timing, for example, I want the meteor to hit the ground right at this moment. Let's preview it quickly. Everything looks good, the only issue is that the meteor continues falling past the ground, so we need to stop it where it hits. To fix that, go to the exact frame where the meteor touches the ground and grab the rectangle tool. Mask out the foreground area where the meteor shouldn't pass through. Once you're done, change the mask mode to subtract. Now press F to feather the mask and smooth the edges, setting it to around 20 works great. Let's check the result one more time. Everything looks perfect to me. Now that our meteor is ready, we can add the explosion effect right at the moment it hits the ground. Grab the explosion clip and drop it into the timeline. Just like before, enable 3D, then copy the track null position and paste it onto the explosion layer as well. Adjust the size, position, and rotation, and make sure the timing matches perfectly. The explosion should start exactly when the meteor touches the ground. Everything looks good in my case, so now we need to make the explosion and meteor appear behind the car. To do that, duplicate your original footage and move the duplicated layer above both the meteor and the explosion layers. Now scroll to the beginning of the duplicated layer. Open the effects panel and delete the 3D camera tracker effect from it. After that select the roto brush tool. Make sure your preview quality is set to full for the best results, then double click on the duplicated layer to start rotoscoping. Carefully rotoscope the car and make sure the edges stay clean and smooth. Once you're done, click the freeze button and wait for it to complete. When it finishes, close the rotoscoping window and check the result. Everything looks fine, except the explosion starts a bit too early, so I'll adjust the timing slightly. Now it looks way better. For a more dynamic and intense look, we can add shake effect right when the meteor hits and the explosion happens. I'll use one shake from the AM Film Shakes pack. To get AM Film Shakes, check this video's description, and if you want to learn how to create shakes yourself, I've made plenty of shake tutorials on the channel as well. Let's preview the final result, and we're done. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.